Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Neko Jissy! How long has it been since we've played this game? We have the the strong daddy Lin Hue. We have the sweet and seductive Suichi Senpai, and we have the quiet but also caring Likulao. We are all ready with our tiger boys, and they are ready for some action, because the journey is not over. As you know, I as you know, I have I played this game a long time ago. This is actually one of the first let's play. <clears throat> this is actually one of the first let's plays that I played on my channel when I was starting out. The I the only thing is I never finished the DLC, or I never started it. I have never played the DLC. Apparently there is DLC that is the epilogue DLC, which is you do have to buy. I don't think that's too bad because the because the game itself is the game itself is free. So I don't really complain too much. I believe the DLC is $7.99. I don't know anything about what happens in the DLC besides a few images I've seen of wonderful costumes. But it feels really it feels really, really good to get back into this. This is one of the, this is the first visual novel that got me into furry visual novels. About two years ago is when I first played this, before I even started doing my channel, and I loved it. I love the characters, I love the lore they have. Besides some slight issues, I do have some very slight issues with the visual novel. Most of them are related to the NSFW version, um, story-wise and pacing-wise, but besides that, it's good. Um, as of the time of this recording, I, I believe it was a few months ago, the creators took down the NSFW patch that allowed you to have NSFW scenes in the game. Uh, they said, uh, long story short, they didn't really believe it belonged in the game. So, which kind of sucks because I feel like, while I feel like there were a lot of issues with the NSFW, I feel like it was done correctly. You had a choice of either downloading the patch or not downloading the patch, and you could choose to turn it on and off. I still have the NSFW patch, so now I'm not getting rid of it because it's, you cannot, um, I'm sure somebody, some secret, I'm sure some, in some secret dark furry layer, somebody has the files. I have the files downloaded too, but, you know. But anyway, I'm excited to get into this. Let's get started with the DLC. This will probably, this will probably be two parts. Um, I'm thinking about 20, 30 minutes to view. I heard that the DLC is not that long, it's about an hour. Crown epilogue. Now, quick thing, to get the epilogue, you do have to get the true ending in the game before you let, you're allowed to play the epilogue. Because the epilogue does take place after the true ending. But anyway, I'm excited to be here. Let's get started. Heads up, apologies if I mess up with the voices. I haven't done these voices in a while, and I didn't really listen to them before I started this recording. But hell, we're fine. I'm here to have a good time. Y'all, you are all here to have a good time. Let's have a good time. Before me, all I could hear was the clamoring of a thousand voices filling the air, and the dull thuds of a thousand more footsteps resonating with the solid floor below. The atmosphere was energetic, alive, and honestly, there were just a lot of people here. Once we entered the convention, I started to notice the change in disposition evident across Lin Hu's face, seemingly thoroughly displeased in some banner by the situation before him. Clearly, his discomfort is noticed and somewhat caused by the people around us. No one speaks to him, content to watch on as his eyes anxiously dart around the myriad of people in the crowd before him. Admittedly, Lin Hu doesn't give off the friendliest impression when it comes to dealing with groups of strangers. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, at least it's keeping the crowd from swarming us. That is to say, the two of us definitely stood out amongst the people lined up. I'm thankful that the queue lines are single file. It's a convenient logistical barrier that has prevented anyone from coming near the uneasy tiger men, man so far. However, it wasn't long before we entered the convention hall proper. As a result, there was no such luxurious protection to be had. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Alright, 
like, you know what? Linhu, why don't you always look like this? I mean, if he always looked like this, he would easily be number one. I would have to say no to sit to Luigi. Oh. I have the perfect music to play for this. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Hello there, Lin Hugh. My best boy. I mean, you always knew that you were my favorite boy, right? I mean, <laughs> Soichi Senpai, who's that? <laughs> ah, Soichi Senpai. I don't really, I'm not familiar with the name. I, I mean, meanwhile, there's you. And Liku Lao, pff, forget about it. Mm, mm, I gotta, I gotta keep going with the game though. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. I love the art style. Can I tell you how much again? How much I love the art style for this game? I mean, I'm, ex I'm, I'm somewhat curious about the new sequel coming out. But I'm sorry, I don't know who. I really wouldn't know who the artist was for, because I really wish they would have stuck with this art style. I kind of wish they would have stuck with a visual novel, another visual novel. But I mean, I give them credit. They're trying to expand outwards. So, good job, Orange Juice Dog. I'm so thirsty. Oh, so thirsty. Quite for there to be so many. Now, now, you're just scaring everyone away. But to have so many people looking upon me. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're pretty tall after all. Of course, you're gonna stand out. They even knew! They had to do a close up! They even knew! Honestly, by most people's standards, Linhue is massive. His well-bit body towering well up to two meters tall. He's definitely got the daddy look. He's even got sunglasses! Oh, sunglasses. He's even got glasses! He is such a daddy! Granted, to me, he's still a beast, man. Who knows what everyone else is seeing right now. After all, I possess the power of the yin-yang eyes. Just as I perceive Lin Yu's god form, my senpai just happens to be a leopard cat beast, man. We don't talk about senpai. Senpai who? Get him out of here. Who is senpai? Who's that? He sounds like he's a loser. Meanwhile, Lin Hu, mm, Lin Hu is the much better. I, what are you guys talking about? I never said that. What are, what are you talking about? You're, I never said that senpai was the best boy. Pfft, I don't know what you're talking about. Lin Hu is the, is the best boy. Although, in Senpai's case, I still know what he looks like as a human. The same can't be said for Lin Yu. I wonder what he'd look like as a human. Hmm, if I had to guess, I'd picture him as a middle-aged man with a strong, angular, stubbled visage. Then again, I could be completely wrong. Maybe he's actually got a baby face with a giant... I, I, I mean, a giant guy with a baby face. A baby face. Okay, now I really want to know what he looks like. Not that I'm complaining. After all, it's a beast, man. He's definitely my type. He's definitely my type too, Lin Yu. I might have to go. I might have to go. I might have to go on intermission. I'm so thirsty. A little better. He's pretty well dressed today. I never imagined a denim shirt would suit him so well. Who could blame all the guys staring at him? To have a real body is a rare occurrence. I needed to waste this chance being stared at. Wait a minute, yeah, that's a good point. How did you get an actual body that humans can see that don't have spiritual power? It just means people like you. Now, how is that a bad thing? But I want to spend time with you, hand in hand. If I were to do that, surely would you not be embarrassed by all the attention upon us? Um, maybe. The thought makes me anxious, which isn't to say I disagree with doing that. It's just... Alright, let me put it this way. Isn't this a chance to show off? If this is the only chance I get to hold hands with Lin Hugh, I'm not about to let it pass me by. Let's do it. There's nothing more I want than to be able to show off my handsome boyfriend. Oh wait, Guardian! Oh that's right, at the end of the original, he pretty much he pretty much had a harem harem. Like like every he was like all of you guys are my boyfriend. I, I mean me personally, I'm not into open relationships, but I might have to make an exception for these guys. I have to admit, 
as much as I have some slight issues with Neko Jissy, mm, the characters designed are so good. He rubs his nose shyly. Certainly, then let's certainly then let's give them a show to remember. Within the next moment, Lin Hu takes hold of my hand, leans down, and kisses me tenderly on the forehead. No, we don't want the forehead. We want no. We don't want the forehead. We want the lips. Kiss us on the lips, Lin Hu. No. A muffled squeal sounds from the nearby crowd. Like eek! I would too, though. Someone's gonna mention this online, aren't they? Well, I'll be fine, as long as no one from Dance Club finds out. As far as I know, none of them are into furry stuff anyways. Oh, Liao, you understand. It's like me. I have nobody that understands what I like. It's like, I can't talk to anybody about this kind of stuff. My attention returns to Lin Hu, his warm hands held within mine. To me, they're giant fuzzy paws. When I think about it, I've barely ever held Lin Hu's paws. I mean... It'd be weird to do so at home, and it's not like I can exactly do so while out and about. I'd just be grabbing thin air. My feelings swirl around as I run my fingers across the bottom of his palm, his fingers squeezing tightly around mine. It's calming in a way that reaches right into the depths of my heart. <laughs> Why? No! No! I was having fun, you son of a bitch! Okay... First of all, why the hell does Leopard look like a pizza boy? He looks like he's he looks like a pizza delivery boy. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> what? You mean he's As if out of nowhere, somebody rushes out from the crowd. Leo, how could you act all lovey dovey with the old man while we're not even here? Why not? What would you rather us do what? Would you rather us do this in front of you? Act Mimi, I'm the one who came here early to buy stuff for you and everything, and this is how you repay me? I guess you're right. Anyway, so the things go well. Also, is Kulao coming? <gasps> ah! Ah! No! No! You can't do this! I haven't played this game in so long and I come back to this? Oh my gosh! I haven't played this in forever and I come back to this? Oh! Okay, Legal Law looks like, like the hot emo kid. Okay, we've got Daddy, Pizza Boy, and Emo Kid. Oh, he looks so good though. Why can't I buy clothes like this in real life? And then you try to buy clothes like this in real life and they're not, you can't buy them. There's no such thing. No, no, this is what, no. Oh, I hate this. I, oh, I hate this so much. Huh, people don't understand. I want to dress up so bad. Did he get, did he get bigger? Look at his muscles. He did not have arms like that in the last game. Look at his arms. They're thick. Why did you get so thick? Even his face, he's got that cool emo look. Oh, I love it. No, why? Get away. This is, no, no. Mm, 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 mm. Before I can finish speaking, Leopard squeezes out of the nearby crowd. Huh? Ooh! So handsome! <laughs> it really fits him, doesn't it? I spent ages working out the perfect outfit just for Kulao. Which is why you two disappeared without a trace this morning. Well, it's not like you could wear something like that on the train over. He had to get changed once we arrived, but it was totally worth it. I've always wanted to wear something like it, but the style just didn't suit me, you know? Actually, you're not wrong. I don't- I couldn't imagine Leopard trying to- I couldn't imagine Senpai trying to wear something like that. I mean, you look cute too, Senpai- No, Senpai looks cute, but I'm sorry. Look at these two. Mmm. And mmm. Mm, too slow- too late, Slowpoke. <sighs> Your ego just gets bigger every day. Hey, what's that? What's that meant to mean? All right, whatever. So, what did you guys get up to? What did we? What did we get up to? Well, just before a bunch of guys came to us, up to us wanting to take selfies with Kulao, it's almost like we're famous or something. That's not what I meant. Some guys even tried to sneak photos of him. If he ever kept his, if he ever kept his body, he totally rocketed showbiz. 
Whoa, hang on a second. You got a photo of Cool Out? Let me see it. For sure. Come here. Check this out. Are we going to see what he looks like as a human? Senpai pulls out his phone and swipes through some post from the con until he seems to find out what he was talking about. Huh? Well, Kalau really is in this one. It's easy to pick out because, well, he's a clouded leopard. So I guess my powers extend to photos of spirits as well. Aww. Shame. Would have been nice to see Kalau's human form. Oh well, no big loss. The photo was taken from behind so I wouldn't be able to see his face anyway. I scroll down the thread just to see a bunch of guys talking about how they would totally go out with Kulao. I mean, I know he's handsome, but it's not like any of these guys will be able to even see him tomorrow. Engrossed in the replies, it takes me a moment to notice Kulao curiously peeking his head around to look at the screen. In a gesture of novelty, he reaches out a finger to swipe across the photos on the phone's display, mimicking my prior actions. Before now, he's never had a physical body. I wonder if he ever took a photo, what face would he see? Whoa, why is nobody taking secret photos of me and posting them online? Senpai, you're pretty normal. I mean, relatively. <laughs> what? How can you call How can you call a super duper cutie like me normal? Well, you don't stand in a crowd like Lin Hu does, and it's hard for people not to take notice of Kulao with the clothes you shoved him in. Does his chest really need to be exposed like that? Yes! Have you never been to a convention? Yes! Boy, yes! They all need to be exposed. His tattoo is a work of beauty. Be ashamed not to have him show it off. Sure, I guess. Preparing that with Kulao's figure. You can't just go walking around like that. It's too alluring. At least we're at a con, so it's kind of normal for people to show off in flashy outfits. Well, you've got no one but yourself to blame. You're the one who made Kulao stand out so much, you know. Oh. Well, today's a special day, so I'll let Kulao take the leading role. The old man can even bask in Kulao's reflected glory. It's super generous of me. Me basking in reflected glory? <laughs> like usual, you're being too lovey dummy with Liao. It's about time you gave someone else the spotlight. Hmm. To my surprise, Lin Hu didn't make any rebuttal. At least, I don't think I'm being too lovey dummy with him. On that note... Somebody walks over to me with his phone once again. Hey, Liao, what do you reckon size? What do you reckon size difference means? What? Uh, where did you see that? Under some post of you and the old man. Oh, well, well, it's referring to how Lin Hu's so big, like, well, larger than most guys. That is. Huh? Really? Sounds unnecessarily vague to me. They're just nerd terms and stuff. If you don't get it, don't bother. <laughs> All right, whatever. Here's your stuff, nerd. Somebody hands me the bag he's been holding, stuffed full of relics of his earlier escapades in the convention hall. Seriously, though, I didn't expect so many people to rock up at such a niche convention. I'm kind of floored. Yeah, you wouldn't see anything like this back home. For a moment, I take in the view around me, my eyes darting between people, stalls, artwork. The whole place is a buzz with fans from all walks of life. Not to mention all the people in stunningly crafted fursuits. It's something I'd never see. <gasps> oh, he's at a furry convention. I've never been to a furry convention. I want to go to a furry convention so bad. Like everybody, People have no idea how bad I want to go to a furry convention. I want to go so bad. Mm. Not to mention all the people in stunningly crafted fursuits. It's something I'd never see back home. All right, we gotta get moving. It's not like you to get to go to a convert convention every day. It'd be a waste not to check things out. Sure, let's go. Yes, yes, we shall. Lin Hu reached out his paw, which I'm about to take happily in hand before. <laughs> oh no, they're fighting again. Within my split second of hesitation, Kalao moves in and takes hold of my hand instead. Oh my gosh, dude, Liao is a fucking. Liao is a fucking player. He has three amazing boyfriends. I need to start socially interacting more. Uh, sure, surely. Liao's hand, I want to hold. Well, I think the old man gave Kulao a chance for once. That is to suggest I usually have a chance. Not like Kulao isn't in the exact same boat as you are, old man. Does Liao not have two hands? 
Oh my gosh. They're fighting. Oh, oh my gosh. I love them. I love them. I love both of you. Suddenly, suddenly Lin Hu was taking hold of my other hand. There's nothing I could do. Somewhat awkwardly, we start walking the three of us side by side. Guys, even I want to take a photo of you at this point. Nope, no way in hell, senpai. Lin Hu and Kulao were already the center of attention. As you can imagine, by this act, we've only drawn more and more eyes upon us. Ah, oh, regular college guy being scrambled all over by two other handsome guys. You know, everyone here is absolutely going to be talking about you on three online for days now. Then why don't you help? What do you expect me to do? It's not like I can grab your third hand. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Stop! Stop! And then what puts more on I walks off. Anxious, I look between the Kulao and Lin Hu for acknowledgement. However, they're just staring at each other. Too preoccupied to notice me whatsoever. After today, I probably shouldn't look at the internet for a while. No matter what I do, the, us three walking side by side in the crowded convention hall causes a disturbance, which doesn't, e which doesn't even begin to describe how I feel about the people staring at us. It's not long before we're practically a moving roadblock. A group of pe Ugh. a group of people is soon swarming to block our path at the first opportunity. Yo, so what are you guys cosplaying? We're we're not. We're just trying to find a way past. Really, it really looks like. Really? It totally looks like you guys are role-playing anime characters or something. It's not like that. Just let us go, alright? I cannot leave Li Liao to handle this alone. You, you, step back. Guys, you know we can hear you, right? Zip it or you'll just make things worse. And please think about how I feel about this already while you're at it. Okay, let's sort this out. You two can spend time with me, but only one at a time. Take turns or we'll be just dealing with this all day. Hmm. <clears throat> If they are once, okay. After I make my demands, they finally let me go. Now that's half of my problems dealt with. If we are to do that, Liao, which one of us do you wish to spend time with? Want to go with Liao. Many people excited. I'm not excited about having to choose at all. Regardless, I want to make this fair, but no matter what, I'll have to pick someone to go with first. Oh no! No, I can't save! No! Wait, I, I have to be... Okay. I was like, I have to be able to save. Alright, there we go. I'm sorry, Lin Hu was... Mm, I gotta go with Lin Hu. I gotta go with Daddy. Hey, Kulao, cool I'll absolutely spend time with you this afternoon, but first I'm gonna hang out with Lin Hu. Are you okay with that? If Liao won't, we'll be fine. Oh, listen, I'm sorry, Lever. When I get back, we'll be able to spend a bunch of time together. I'll look forward to it, so just wait a little while, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, so you worked it out? Mm hmm. Then I'll take care of Kulao. What? Come on, don't look so upset. Let's go, Kulao. I'll be sure to show you some good stuff. And just like that, my senpai appeared out of nowhere, grabbed Kulao, and dragged him away in the opposite direction. Definitely on purpose. I do hope I don't owe him for that. Hey, cheer up. It's not like I won't get to him later anyway. Even if I cho chose to spend time with Lin Hu first, that doesn't mean I'm partial to him. I just want both Kulao and Lin Hu to be happy. At least we're finally able to properly walk through the convention. Even if it's not as crowded as the entrance, there's still heaps of people here. Looking around, I see some of the booths that have lines all over the place. Thank god I had Senpai run in and get the stuff I wanted earlier this morning. So, Lin Hu. Did Goddess Maz Mazu say anything about the incarnation that is? Uh, incarnation. Incarnation. Incarnation refers to the concept that a guard or spirit can embody themselves within a physical body. The body of the incarnated god or spirit is said to be no different than that of any normal human, including aspects such as the human mind and vitality. Okay. Well, there's our lesson for today. There's some lessons for today. After all, you had to borrow the power of a Yaogwai. I'm worried that the goddess would be displeased. To speak honestly, there was a quarrel back at the temple. What kind of quarrel? Quarrel. Not a serious one. Clairvoyant and clairaudience merely expressed their concerns. 
A few gripes were also passed between the other Guardian Tigers, clearly out of envy if you ask me. Regardless, they are not worthy of my attention. So, the goddesses agreed? She asked for silence and then provided consent, although she did not provide her explanation until our meeting in private. What were her reasons? I mean, if you could tell me that is. She said that while such actions would be out of order, they would be allowed so that I may get closer to our Jitong. That, and apparently, she believes it's beneficial to grow my familiarity with the kitten and the Yao Guai of the Yan family. The Yao Guai of the Yan family? Correct, but it's not something to be proud of. Again, as you very well know, the gods and Yao Guai do not necessarily rival each other. As such, occasionally we may turn a blind eye to some Yao Guai of notable force. So, the Yao Guai of the Yan family are powerful enough that the gods usually don't bother with them? The Yan family has developed over many generations, but I do not know much more. After all, our temple is located far south from here. For an idea of the nature of things, even the city god of Taipei would not readily get in their way. Hence, it's worthwhile premise to be on good terms with them. That? For gods, that really seems, I don't know, disquieting? What else would, would he do? These Yaogwai are the protectors of the Yan family. In a way, all they achieve is helping people. Just because they are Yaogwai does not mean that the gods should just kill them. Oh! Guardian? Okay! Alright! Lin Yu actually... Okay, Lin Yu seemed like he has a little less of a hate for Yaogwai. Because usually he seemed like the guy that just like, just kill all the Yaogwai. Now he's kind of like, you know, like let's be diplomatic about this. Okay! Lin Hu's starting to, starting to go up to first place. Uh-oh. So, offering your body like this is more of a diplomatic move than anything? All I see, all I see, it, it, it oh, all I see it as is an opportunity to be with you, Liao. I think that sentence is a little messed up. So basically, the goddess only agreed to this to grow face with the Yao Guai of the Yan, of the Yan family? And here I'm thinking she wanted the best for Lin Hu and me. And please, do not fill your head with such nonsense. You know as much as I do that the goddess wishes only to support us. You... you knew exactly what was bothering me. Your worries were clear from one look at your face. Now, putting that aside... That over there, that's taken my attention for some time. You don't suppose that this is meant to be me by any chance? And look at the direction of his gesturing. It's a character on the cover of a nearby... Do Jinchi that clearly resembles a guardian tiger. One uncannily similar to Lin Hu himself. Oh, you mean that? Yep, that's you. Me? You didn't know? After all those daily life of a worshipper posts you always put on your blog, I guess it was bound to happen. Of course you did express that gods don't have set appearances or genders, however. That doesn't stop the internet from digging into it. There's online headcanons about you, how you look, your weight, even what you do all day. A bit of it's cooked up, but it's amazing the kind of detail people get into. Even Kulao and Senpai have fan followings online now. Honestly, you guys are getting pretty popular in the fandom. Popular? Does that mean we have fan art? Ah! What every, what every furry creator strives to have. Fan art. Lots of it. Yes, Lin Hu, you have achieved the... Sorry. You have achieved the goal that every furry creator strives for, fan art. Yeah, there's fan art of you all over the place. Of course I try not to look at it when you guys are around. That feel a bit weird, especially when I have the real thing. I, I mean, I only look at them to make sure I'm not exposed. It'd be a pain if people found out about me. Thankfully, no one talks about me online. All they care about is shipping you guys together. You know everyone loves Beastmen, right? Linhu's features are plastered with a complicated expression. A mixture of bewilderment, embarrassment, and a distinctly bashful overt glare that I've never quite seen on Tiger Man before. To be sure, this does say adults only, correct? Well, what else would you expect from a do doujinchi market? Am I to believe, then, that this is an illustration of me and that kitten? I... I mean, I can't be sure. Maybe? Uh, so I don't want to step on Lin Hu's feelings, but he's right. Everyone ships him with Kulao and Senpai. Uh-oh. He found out! He found- he found the Yif art of- 
as much as people furry creators love fan art there's also the fact that they get shipped with, with yif art <laughs> with complete disregard of listen if you guys if listen i have a particular set of skills if i catch any of you making fan art of me with you i will come to your house and i will kiss you that is a promise that is not a threat that is a promise if any of you if anybody i catch anybody making fan art of me making fan art of fallen wolf with another character i will come to your house break in and give you a big fat old kiss on the lips so watch it guys i'm not playing i'm real serious you better watch out with complete disregard of the doge Jin's supposed content let you walk straight up to the booth if possible, may I take a look at this book? The booth owner is somewhat intimidated by Lin Hu. Without speaking, he points to a sample book on the table. Clearly, there's no need to ask if he's over 18. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I yes, I will pay for this. Oh my gosh, Gary Tiger has fallen in love with Yifar! <laughs> he's like, he's like, I will buy this book right now. What? Paying no attention to my explanation, Lenny pays the artist and takes a copy of the doujin in question. Why do why do my actions surprise you? But th that's you're okay with that? <laughs> why not? After all, this is nothing but the author's imagination. There is no ill will towards me whatsoever. Don't you think it's um a little bit disrespectful? Perhaps some gods may see it that way. However, I am quite used to it. If you recall, I have read every single book you own, regardless of content. I'm... I'm grateful. For that matter, I highly rec I highly doubt that either Liku Lao or the kitten would mind either. It is not as if it depicts any other gods to be bothered by this. Hey, strange question, but in general, what do you think of people drawing porn of... You know, gods? I would say it is respect that matters. Not that I'm saying respect is a free pass to do whatever you want, but I believe people that who's, who possess respect know what to do and what not to do. Oh my god, this brings us so many questions. You know what I'm thinking about now? Can you imagine like gods are actually like real and like people just draw them like sexy and stuff and there's just like the gods are just watching and they're like, and like it's like fucking Zeus is like, yeah man, look how much fan art there is of me. And then Athena is like, Athena is like, Yes, but look at all the lovely teenage boys I have corrupted with my spirit. Ha 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 ha! And then freaking Harrowbees is just in a corner crying somewhere. He's like, nobody likes, nobody likes the messenger of the gods. Oh! <laughs> oh no! I like. Oh, that's such a perfect concept. Oh, I want to write that so bad. Like, like freaking gods that actually exist in our world and like, literally like now because we don't pray to like other gods like they're literally they literally get their worship power they literally get their power of worship from like freaking people making fan art and stuff of them somebody make that a comic or a story right now go 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 my go my pack mates go make it make it so make it so <laughs> however if you do feel guilty nothing is stopping you from going to a temple i'd say most gods couldn't care less just as long as you bring them sacrifices so, it's the sacrifices that matter. No, it's belief. To be clear, it does depend on the god in question. It's not like I can speak for everyone. Just like humans, everyone is different. For that matter, the concept for this book really is quite intriguing. Lin Hu returns his attention to flipping through the pages of the book as I peek at the pages beside his shoulder. I did see a preview of this book online, but didn't read it since I was afraid of one of them seeing it and being embarrassed. Regardless of the premise, it's a doujin, one hot and steamy enough to get almost any guy flustered. And yet, it still doesn't offend him in the slightest. He seems to enjoy it for that matter. So you did say there have been many books like this recently, did you not? Well, I guess so. Lin Hu, you know about the internet. You should know that the inter you should know that the internet is for porn. You should know this. In that case, hurry on now. I wish to procure all of them. W what? That's a ton of money, and that's besides the point. Oh no, Lydia, you corrupted. No, Liao, you corrupted Lydia. <laughs> I never expected to be quite this popular. Man, I'm exhausted. 
In the span of the past hour, we had walked the whole convention frantically. Despite our best efforts, many dojins had already sold out by the time we reached their boost. <laughs> Clearly, we sprung into action far too late. Of course, I didn't ask Senpai to get any of them. After all, I was trying to make sure they didn't find out. Too late for that now. Even then, like Lin Hu said, I never expected them to be nearly this popular. They're literally all over the con. <laughs> Every one of the sold out books just happened to be about me. What, really? I'm not surprised though. I'm not surprised either, cause Lin Hu is probably the most drawn Neko GC character. Lin Hu, Lin Hu is probably the character with the most poor and drawl of him. Believe me, I know. I shall not worry about losing belief anytime soon. Oh, I freeze up in embarrassment just thinking about the roles Lin Hu must play in all those doujins. You really don't mind? Those books, considering the stuff you do with Kulao and Senpai? It's a somewhat odd thought, but none of it is real. Honestly, I'm intrigued by how people see us paired together. <laughs> so, are you jealous, Liao? Hey, hey, what are you talking about? It's just the content! Well, what if I really did have feelings towards those two? S seriously I'm kidding. Look at yourself so worried over something like that. Lin Hu pokes my nose. Fuck you, Lin Hu. <laughs> I, you, this makes me think about, oh my, I'm thinking about open relationships now. Like, is this how, like, open relationships are? I don't know. I, I've never really talked to anybody that has an open relationship, but is this how they are? <laughs> I'm fine. Merely reading these for fun. After all, I wouldn't be as insensitive as to do so if I really had any such relations with them now, would I? I guess- Hey, I wasn't worried. I just thought you would have been embarrassed to see. I would. I wouldn't. I know the difference between fiction and reality. However, you are cute when you're jealous, Liao. I'm not! It's alright. It's alright, Liao. Then he brushes his paw gently along the side of my face. Oh, okay, well, it's lunchtime, so uh, how about we get some food? I pull up my phone and call Senpai. Mostly as a way to avoid where the conversation was headed. Quickly, we organized lunch and meet up with Senpai and Kulao. How things go for you guys? Not, not bad. It's so cool! There's heaps of people wearing cute animal suits! We went around taking photos with them! Don't worry, I'll be sure to show you when you get back home! Uh, so Senpai was taking photos with the fursuiters? Hmm, I wonder what they look like. So, what should we get to eat? I'm starving here. Should we go to a restaurant or just get takeout? By the way, today's lunch is on me. I would like to purchase something for myself. For yourself? Well, today is a special day after all. As I am currently able to, I would wish to buy something with my own hands. Oh yeah, you've only got one day to do that, don't you? Hence why I would like to try. To try and experience Liao's daily life. Me, me too. Hello, you too! You guys are just gonna make a big uh, kerruffle cur out of this. You know, you guys will just... I can already imagine it. The two of them walking right up to the counter. Flashy clothes and bodies on show. Not knowing the first about ordering food. It'll be nothing less than a mess. Okay, okay. I guess you two are... Uh, I guess you two really are really in need of some social skills. So take this. Go out there and take care of yourselves for once. Senpai hands him some money, sends them off, and watches on smugly as they walk away from the convention hall. Two big cats on a grand adventure to order lunch for themselves. It's a sight to behold. Excuse me. You know, you really did a great job, Senpai. Huh? With what? You worked so hard to prepare for today. Didn't you have to ask the, well, patron god of the Yan family? I was worried when you told me that. You mean Grandpa? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. It's fine. Yeah, but it's not like you exactly get along with your family. Why would that, uh, Grandpa have any reason to help you in the first place? Were there conditions in return for his help? Frankly, I was surprised too. Grandpa didn't even ask anything in return. Of course I asked some friends to keep on lookout before I met him. You know, in case I need to find a way to escape. But it was fine. That's in no way fine. It's not like anything bad came of it anyway. Grandpa just wanted me to ask you a question. What did they want... What did they want to ask me? <laughs> I'll save that for later. I'll save that for later. It's probably like, are you really, are you Senpai's boyfriend? 
What do you mean? Is it something serious? No, of course not. I wouldn't hold out on you if it was. It's just something about myself. Honestly, I have no idea why Grandpa wanted me to talk to you about it. Anyways, in the end, he agreed to help. So it all worked out at the end. Incar incarnating two gods for an entire day, it was really that easy? It'd be wrong to call it easy. Well, I don't really know much about how it works. Hey, come on, you don't need to keep wearing your little head on stuff like this. Today's a day to have fun and enjoy each other's company. Oh, then should I quarter you on this tomorrow instead? You'd better not. Senpai, if you go behind my back to do things like this, it's hard for me not to worry about it. It was meant to help you. Did you or did you not put yourself in a position where you could be in danger? I did it! Even if I had no idea what Grandpa was thinking, it was clear that he didn't want to hurt me. Alright, please just... Alright, please just take care of yourself. I don't want to see you hurt. <laughs> sure thing, sweetie. Oh, Since my mission is as ever, he's just the same, even after becoming a genuine god. I can't help but let out a sigh before returning to my chat with Senpai, her conversation swinging back to the convention itself. Soon enough, Lin Hu and Kulao return to us, having completed their grand adventure to uncover the secrets of buying lunch. Liao! What, you got fried chicken again? It's too much! <laughs> what an opportunity. I will finally be able to experience a taste of such finely cooked poultry with a real tongue. Chicken, chicken, good. Even you, Kalau? Bon appetit, Liao. This is for you. Lin Yu passes me a regular meal box, which appears to be the same as Kulao's meal. As for Lin Yu, well, he got an entire family bucket all to himself. I really shouldn't be surprised at this point. The aroma, it's remarkable. I don't think I've ever seen someone so excited by a mere set of a meal. Oh, the, look at his face! He's looking at his portrait! Look at his portrait! He's like, oh, uh, the taste! All it took was one bite before Lin Hughes was straight broke completely, quickly moving to devour the bucket of fried chicken before him. In a matter of seconds, he had stuffed a chicken leg in his mouth, eaten it, and as if to savor the taste, licked his fingers greedily before delightfully seeking another bite. That was astonishing. I could never have imagined how brilliant real taste of fried chicken would be. So it tastes different to the chi? Certainly. After all, chi only conveys the concept of taste. As such, I do know things. I do know how things taste, but it appears nothing compares. But it appears nothing compares first to first-hand experience. Never had I imagined the real taste of food to be this complex. Even the texture, it's way beyond the bounds of a spiritual body like my own. It's clear to see that Lin Hu is completely enthralled with his own musings. Kulao, on the other hand, appears to still be on this first piece of chicken, eating away as if he must savor every single bite. Kulao, you haven't eaten much. You don't like it? I like very much. Does it taste good? I not eat before. As Lin Hu say, real food tastes different. Very different. I really wish they could just enjoy simple things like this every day. But this is just how it is. They'll only have this for today. I shouldn't ask for any more. After all, I'm not the one who made this happen. I watch Owen as Kulao eats away mictitiously, and Lin Hu remains deep within his own delicious world. Maybe I should get him more food. Hmm, will they actually gain weight now that they have bodies? Then if they did gain weight, would their spiritual bodies be affected? I mean, it's not like you put on that much in one day, but yeah, I'd rather not risk it. We'll have dinner later anyway. Still, it's not like I'll be able to see something like this again. I should take a photo. Pulling out my phone, I line the two of them into the frame and snap a shot. Linda Hume and Kulao eating together for the first time in their lives. I think we are going to stop here. I am loving this! I love this DLC. It's like fan DLC, but I love it. Oh my gosh. So, like I said, I missed- I haven't played this in a while. I miss going back to this. I really- I forgot how much I really love Neko Jissy. The art style is great. I know the new game has a different art style, which I- uh, It's 3D and yeah. Like I said, if people really want to know my- If people really want to know my opinions on the new sequel coming out, including controversy and stuff I've heard, you can feel free to ask me. Um, either send me messages or, hell, I can even do- I'll even do a video. If you want me to just stream and talk about- 
uh, you know, Neko Jitsi and what I feel about the sequel. We can even do that. I'm not afraid to do that kind of stuff. Uh, that is something I really want to do with this channel. I really, I really, really would love to actually get topics about things going on in the furry community and then people asking my opinion about it and me doing a video and just talking about like how I feel about certain topics going on in the furry community. And believe me, I'm not afraid. Don't be afraid. If you really do want to ask me questions like that, don't be afraid. I'm more than willing to give my honest opinion on stuff. I will tell you right now, my views on, on things are a little weird, on certain things are a little weird. But, I mean, you know what? That's who I am. That's who I am. I don't care. I have my opinions, and if you don't like them, you know, I'm sorry you don't, but oh well. As long as they're not hurting anybody, right? But anyway, we're definitely going to be saving here. But I'm really liking this. Uh, we will definitely, we will definitely finish, excuse me, the next video will finish off the rest of the DLC, the epilogue DLC. But, uh, I'm loving this. Lydia is so hot. They're all so hot, except I don't know why Senpai looks like he's wearing, he's looking like he's a pizza delivery guy. I don't know why, but you know, whatever. But anyway, with that being said, I hope everybody has a beautiful, I hope everybody has a great and wonderful day. I hope everybody staying safe. Please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe to my channel and the video. And with that being said, oh, thank you for being part of the Fallen Pack. And I'll see everyone next time. Take care. Bye.